Welcome back to Cooking with Paula Darlene. I'm so glad everyone got to join me today. If you're new, welcome. Today we're going to do a casserole with panini noodles and it's going to be like a lasagna. So I started cooking my noodles and I boiled them just to al dente or to however you choose. Then I did some regular spaghetti sauce and I just heated, heated it up and put some uh, cream cheese in it. And I got that all mixed up in there, and then I put my noodles to the side. And here you'll see where I'm, I'm going to mix my noodles and my sauce together. And I put some of my own seasonings in. I just did a little basil, a little bit of um, basil leaf, and a little bit of oregano. Just kind of add a little extra to the sauce. And I'm getting my pan ready. I'm adding about two tablespoons of garlic. Just for a little flavor. And I added some mozzarella to make it a little bit more cheesier like a lasagna. I did about maybe a little over a cup. I did a couple of handfuls out of it. So it was probably equals out to a cup. I just did the shredded. And I just mix it up really well. Here I already have some pre-cooked chicken. And I'm going to go ahead and start my first layer for my panini lasagna and then I rough chopped the um, cooked chicken and I'm going to add it to the middle of the panini lasagna and then I'm going to just put the provolone slices on top and I put the cover with paninis and then I'm going to also put the uh, provolone on top put some mozzarella and I'm also going to add a little Parmesan cheese with it as well. And then I'm going to top it off with a little bit of extra seasoning, some garlic, uh, probably a little Italian seasoning, and some basil. Once I got done seasoning it, I put it on a cookie sheet just in case it overflowed. Then I took a foil and I tinted it over the top of my lasagna and then I'm going to stick it in the oven at 400 for 30-45 minutes just so that the cheese can melt. It was very delicious. <music> 